What's up guys, welcome back to today's video. Today is night number one of the Kyle Larson Outlaw Card Showcase. It is a very busy day here in Chico, California at the Cycleland Speedway. Check out, just we're right here at the beginning entrance of the pits. Look at all these people. Now you guys saw the title of this video, our new QRC wraps. They look beautiful. Every year at the showcase we try to get a new one, uh, spice things up, try something new, and check these out. under the fence here I just want to show you guys a little bit of a tour of everyone on the car so here we got Durst Incorporated one of the biggest supporters of factory QRC and then of course factory QRC factory QRC my name right here on the top of the wing we have jet fitness and then my name again 18t and just a beautiful car as you come around also got to mention Burris Racing Tire. We will be running Burris on all four corners of our car, ready to go tonight here at the Outlaw Kart Showcase. Now let's go check out the racetrack. Cycleland Speedway, you guys have seen this place before. And just recently, in one of my most recent vlogs on the channel, we ran really, really good, a good tune-up last weekend for this event here, the Kyle Larson Outlaw Kart Showcase. Our car's been very fast, and it's got a new wrap on it, so I'm feeling even better. You know what they say, look good, play good. So, uh, Lil Morale did some track prep. It's been getting slicker and slicker every single night. I was watching on fast for uh, Saturday and Sunday, and it was building a mean parking curb down here in one and two, and in three and four. Hopefully tonight he gives us another awesome surface. Looks like he just finished reworking it and we're gonna be ready to get into the night. I pulled a 73, which means I'm gonna be going out pretty deep in flight uh, B, but all my other teammates are in flight B with us, so we're all gonna have a similar setup and we're ready to go. Just got done with our qualifying run. Unfortunately, we did not make it into the top 10 A main event tonight. I believe we missed it by like one or two spots. I got bumped right after my session. Whitley was second quick, teammates Larson was quick time, so just that uh, was way too free for me. Just I uh, was spinning the tires and wasn't that great. So uh, just needed to be a little bit better, but not a bad qualifying run. All right, guys, got a fan of the videos here. I just met at the Kyle Larson Outlaw Kart Showcase. Buddy, what's your name? Elisha. Uh, where are you from, buddy? Chico. Chico, so you go to Silver Dollar a yeah. lot and everything. And um, so you just recently, you said you started watching the um, channel? Um, Yeah, just about a couple months ago. Awesome, and so, you wanted to shout out your own channel? Yeah, uh, it's Elisha Chase. All right, yeah. all right, I'll find it. I can put a link in the description below. Go check him out, dude, yeah. and uh, thank I only you for have supporting. Like nine subscribers, I'm trying to make more videos so yeah. oh there you go there you go well yeah. anyway nice meeting you dude nice meeting you. also guys I have another fan who wants to be in the video buddy what's your name Lucas Lucas Carlson. and Lucas has really wanted to come over and say hi thank you dude for coming over and uh, his brother races went third quick in box talk right anyway a uh, great night for them in group B Kyle Larson inside front row Casey Smith's to the outside should be a barn burner Lights are out, field bunches up, anticipation of a green flag start. Larson's early on it, he'll take a cart length advantage into turn one. Kyle Larson, your leader, Casey Schmitz in the second spot. Oh, look out, JoJo Owens into the back of Ren Everhart. Carly Holmes goes on her side, keeps it fired. And we go yellow. Field bunches up. And it's green flag racing off turn number four, back to the stripe, Larson. 
But look at this, Tanner Holmes slides up in front of Casey Smits. Good battle for second and third. Yeah, Holmes not letting up. He slides up in front of Schmitz again, takes second. Schmitz drives back by him. Oh, nearly got into the wall was the 18T of Tanner Holmes. Boy, that is close, too close for comfort racing between Tanner Holmes and Casey Smits. Holy Toledo, they're rocking and rolling right now in lap number three. Up front, though, it's all about Kyle Larson. Oh, big time accident in turn number one. It looks like it's John Michael Bunch, but he keeps rolling. Yellow is out. Longtime friend of mine, of course, got to know him real well when he drove the wing sprint cars up at Silver Dollar Speedway in Marysville. Well, We're we back racing, sorry, off turn number four, Kyle Larson. Casey Smith's to the bottom, protects his line. Now Tanner Holmes in third. Here comes Ren Everhart in fourth, Elijah. Yeah, we'll see if Holmes can get to the inside of Schmitz this time. Slides up in front of him. Schmitz had to check up. And now Tanner Holmes into the second and final transfer spot. Big power move by Holmes. That put him in the main event tomorrow. You know, Casey Smith's not done, though. As Smith's off turn number four, he runs third on lap number six. He's got four more circuits to make up some time. Kyle Larson has packed his bags and checked out as he is a full straightaway nearly ahead of your second place car. Ren Everhart off the pace. Will he pull into the infield or stay on the racetrack? Who knows? It looks like he's gonna make it to the infield right now. Nice sportsmanlike decision by the 14. As we stay green, Tanner Holmes still leading, or excuse me, second, he leads Casey Smith, Kyle Larson up front, big time. And the white flag in the air. One final time around, Elijah. Yeah, Larson. Out of turn number two and down the back straight away for the final time. Schmitz not able to get close enough to make anything happen. Kyle Larson gonna get the victory. Second as we come to the line is the 18 Tia Tanner Holmes in front of the 35 BS of Casey Schmitz. So Kyle Larson and Tanner Holmes, your two transfers out of that one. What a wild night it was at the Kyle Larson Outlaw Kart Showcase. Started off not qualifying the greatest. Qualified 13th in our group, which was good. Didn't make the top 10 though for the preliminary night feature. That set us up to start second row outside in our heat race and it was gonna be tough to transfer because only the top two went to the A main event. Third and fourth to the B, fifth and sixth to the C, and everyone else to the LCQs. And when I went to look at the lineup board, I had the 1K of Kyle Larson on the pole. And then next to him was the 35 of Casey Schmitz. He was gonna be fast, pass track champion at Cycleland before, and I knew I just had to be aggressive, get up on the wheel, and see if I could finish in the top two. Now right off the bat in the heat race, we started throwing quite a few slide jobs. Kyle was gone, but the 35 and I were kind of just going back and forth. Every single time he was able to cross me and get the spot back, I had some yellows fall my way that kept bunching the field back up and giving me more opportunities. Now my approach to this heat race was, like I said, be up on the wheel, be aggressive, but I, I knew I had to keep applying pressure because I am not the greatest at running the top lap after lap at Cycleland. I have gotten much better than what I, ha than what I was there maybe like a year ago, but I just knew that my best opportunity would be to slide job after slide job after slide job and force them to make a mistake, then following them on the top and then they might even be able to just put it on cruise control and pull away. So that's what I did. I probably threw at least five to six slide jobs on the 35 and then after two restarts, I was able to get it going into three and four, kind of a short slide job, the 35 made a mistake, kind of got in the fluff, got on the brakes too hard when he went to cross, and we were able to pull away and transfer into the big show. Now, I was super pumped up about this one because we were in the show, but I drove a great race. I did everything I needed to do, threw a lot of slide jobs, and they were all clean. You guys saw the video. The last one was a little bit closer than the rest of them, but at the end of the day, it's the Outlaw Kart Showcase, and I know that other drivers would have done the exact same move that I did, and the guy that I slid would have definitely done it back to me. Like I said though, good, clean, hard racing, but I knew that there might be some drama because after the checkered, the 35 hit me on the track and then as I was getting out of my car, he was already like, literally as I got out of my car, I was taking off my helmet and he was already like right here. And he came up to me and said that I drove him dirty and whatnot and there was no reason for it. I wasn't sure, I knew that it was gonna be a close slide job, but I knew every single move that I made and I knew that all of them were gonna be clear. And as a racer, you know the moves you make and I never felt any contact, so I knew it couldn't have been that bad. When you wipe someone out, you know what you did. But in a situation like this, when I throw a slide job and I don't feel anything hit me or, or whatnot, I mean, I, like I said, I knew that I didn't give him a whole lot of room, 
but I just kept doing my thing and kept running the rest of my race to the checkered. Like I said, the 35 came over. He was telling me that I drove him dirty and whatnot. But if you guys don't remember, let me refresh your brain. When we were in Mo Montana a few months ago, we were running in the A main event, and this is what the 35 did to me. But anyway, in the past, I've been taught to race others how they race you, and that's exactly what we did. We had a good little battle there in the heat race, slider after slider, definitely a high highlight reel of a heat, and uh, we were able to come up on top and transfer to the big show. So a great night for the whole Factory QRC team. The three of us, Kyle Larson, Daniel, and myself, all locked it into the big show. They were locked into the preliminary night A, which Kyle ended up winning. And then those two were in the top eight dash for the next night, and then I was also locked in. So it was just awesome. It couldn't have went really any better. We had three really, really good cars. And that's one thing I found myself doing was just studying the track a lot, watching all the qualifying, watching the heat races, seeing how it was changing. And that definitely prepared myself much better for when I hit the track. But Night number one of the showcase, awesome. Sorry that it was kind of a little bit more of a choppy vlog and that's why I didn't get to vlog after. We had to get the cars immediately ready for the uh, preliminary feature and then also we found an issue with my car which we had to fix. But real quick, I wanna give a shout out to all my factory QRC sponsors. QRC, Jimmy Elledge Racing, Durst Incorporated, Jet Fitness, and Burris Racing Tire. Without them, the weekend wouldn't have been possible. Anyway, stay tuned for night number two. That's coming up next. It's gonna be a good one. Deuces.